Okay, I haven't went very far right there. That tree right there is where I just found that scrape. The bed's back off in there about 40, 50 yards. That frequently used bed. I'm walking up this faint trail, finding rubs. I mean, you got to find this stuff, folks. You got to be able to see this. I love walking in tall grass because it just shows you when it's hard for deer to walk through an area where they will develop their travel patterns and that gets ingrained into their brain. Just because it's fall in the rut and all that does not mean a deer is not going to revert back to some of these well-known trails. Look at what I found right here. I found a group of about six willows. Very thick cover. Now that cover will die off so I won't be able to get up high. I can come in, the high line's literally 100 yards. The road's about, I don't know, a half mile past that. You can kind of hear them in the background. But I can come right up through this thicket right here. And I, I would walk literally right here and get up in that tree. That way, any deer that cuts my scent, by the time he gets right here where I'm at, I'm going to have a shot on him. I can already see where I want my tree stand is on that trunk. See if I can get this right here. Not up high. I want to be behind some of that willow. And I, I want some willow in my background. So I'll get up in that trunk right there. Probably about nine, ten foot high. And I've literally got a 12 yard shot. With an area I know he wants to come through. I, I mean, this is just a perfect travel corridor. You know, you hear so many people talking about hunting funnels, uh, hunting destination, you know, feed trees, scrapes, and all this kind of stuff. And all that's important. But what I like to do is I like to find all the sign. And then I look for natural travel corridors in between it. There is no doubt in my mind, knowing that there's wheat over that way, about three quarters to a mile, three quarters of a mile to one mile that way i've got to set up over there early season i'm literally going to be 70 80 yards from his bed knowing that it opens up here and this grass will start going down knowing he's going to stay close to here knowing that there's a scrape here there's rubs here there's a rub here and i guarantee i'm gonna find more rubs as i go Perfect setup, southeast wind, blowing back that way. Why is he walking this edge? Because he can look and scent check this entire area of danger with his nose and with his eyes. He's been bedded up right over there all day long. So he will know if anything's been rocking around in these woods. This is a perfect ambush spot, folks.